guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jasmine antoine if you're new here i'm so happy to have you if you end up enjoying the content here go ahead and subscribe make sure you also hit that notification bell as well so that you're notified when new content is available and if you'd like to keep up with me and receive even more encouragement from me go to follow me on ig i am posting consistently over there to encourage you like i've said before my daughter and i eat a lot of vegan and vegetarian meals throughout the week and so i just want to get on here and inspire you in your kitchen here's another video for your toddler today we're going to be making a veggie vegetarian pizza and then on top of that we're also going to be making a sweet potato curry dinner it's so good i hope that you can try it and if you do let me know that you try it and let me know your thoughts down in the comments all right for this recipe you're going to need some whole wheat flour some salt some italian seasoning and some baking powder you're going to mix all of those together really well before adding in your olive oil and some warm water. And then you're gonna mix all of that up really well again, and you're going to knead it. After kneading, you're gonna let it sit covered with a towel for about 10 minutes. While your dough is sitting, you wanna chop up some vegetables. I chose to chop up some white onion, some spinach, some Italian parsley, some beef steak tomato, and I also sauteed a few cloves of garlic and then chopped those up as well. I did not have a rolling pin, so I just finessed it, y'all. I started out in the middle and worked my way out. You want to make sure that it gets really nice and thin, and you also want to make sure that it's about 12 inches. I decided to saute some broccoli for some added texture on top of the pizza, so I sauteed it first in some olive oil to get it nice and browned, but then I decided to add some water to it to make sure that it was soft enough for my toddler. As you can see here, we added some pasta sauce and then we baked it in the oven. And then after it came out of the oven, we added some more pasta sauce and then we added it on all of our toppings. I put it back in the oven to bake some more and look at it y'all. It looks so good, so gorgeous, so pretty. We love this, it tastes so good. And I guess my baby's doing a voiceover with me, but it tasted so good guys. We also added some balsamic glaze to it as well because we both like that taste. If you try this, let me know. For another night of dinner, we made sweet potato curry and it was so good. I do not know the name of these sweet potatoes, but you have to get those, okay? I hope that you take a screenshot of what those sweet potatoes look like, okay? Because they need to be white on the inside. They taste really good. Okay, on top of the sweet potatoes, you're gonna add some olive oil, of course, and then about two tablespoons of coconut cream, and then you're gonna add just a little bit of lemon pepper, a lot of curry. See how I'm coating it really well? And then I mix it all together. But look, I'm gonna add some more curry on top of that. You want a lot of curry. After that, add in about a teaspoon of turmeric powder, some garlic powder if you want, salt to taste, you know, just make sure it tastes good, y'all. Don't, don't skip out on the salt. <laughs> then you're gonna add about one third cup of water to the dish before baking it. You're gonna bake this covered for about 40 to 45 minutes, and then halfway through, you're gonna mix it. And here it is, y'all. Where are my curry lovers at? If you are a curry lover, let me know down in the comments, but here it is coming in hot i paired this with some boiled broccoli and some white rice and my baby enjoyed it hope you can enjoy it if you decide to make this meal for yourself i definitely encourage you to add some sriracha or some red hot sauce to this as well and some fish sauce as well on that rice oh my gosh so good well i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please share it with someone else to inspire them in their kitchen i love y'all jesus loves you so much more and i'll see y'all again in the next video bye